Greetings, traveler. All right. I think I will just go for more druid until they micro adjust or whatever. We'll see. All right. I think that there's a there's a pretty big gap between meta and counter meta. So meta's pretty good. Mm, ooh, okay. So we have a chance of going more aggressive here with Soul of the Forest. Or we can try and do the higher value thing and just pick an early game card here with the Crusader. I'm not sure I want the Sightless. The high roll deck is the Dragon deck, of course. I think the Crusader is a slightly less downside pick. Shribadeer. Mm. We shribadeerin. Okay, so it feels a little bit more tokeny right now. So let's see where we end up. Oh, all right. Well, we could do that, or we could just pick the roots and keep going like this. God, I kind of want them both now. <laughs> just all in. I think it's all of the like. I'm thinking my my brain's also working a bit more constructed, right? Let me see how much they were part. Because Roots is obviously a lot more flexible than than uh, Soul. So I'll probably just pick the Roots. It's funny, right, that I'm like, eh, you know, Soul's pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I kind of regret not having the first one. Err... Uh, you could just go all... I mean... I don't... I feel like I kind of want the roots, to be honest. Let me see. The way how the draft is going. Yeah. God, I want my Soul of the Forest back now from the, uh, the Scarlet pick. It's okay, though. Raider, Strong Shell, Sharkfin Fan. The Crypt Lord makes the Scavenger a bit better. But I think we can take this as a top end and have it be okay-ish. Sharkfins inspire get a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I don't hate having one of these at the end though. Oh, came back. Alright, tree enforcements wouldn't be bad, but this deck is soul the forest is made for this deck. Triple soul offered. Kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a Coder Rider at the end as well. Probably fine. I mean, that's the one you have to pick. Shit, man, a format at 2 6, no text. That sucks. Might still have to pick it. I don't think I want this. Well, then. Roar is big. <laughs> do you just grab another Emerald Explorer here? I, don't know. I think you do. I think the Embiggen, it's not really the kind of deck for it, right? Explorer wins games. I mean, Embiggen wins games. I'm just thinking which one fits the deck better. I think the Explorer. It's, it's pretty funny, right? We, we have this really aggro part of the deck, and then you just have some premium late game. Probably want the five. Because we've turned it into a slightly different deck now. It's fine. Mm, could take a shark fin fan here. We do have power and soul and roar. Sun Fury Strong Shell. <laughs> That's true, that's true. But Pit Fighter with zero five drops. I think a four mana four four might still be better for us right now. We only have two four drops and I only have two dragons. Mm, Savage Striker is kind of a four drop though. 
Shark fin fan could be a four. No synergy. <laughs> Actual synergy. I don't really know about the deck. I think it does well just because we have the um, the early game and the explorers. Are you playing on Europe? I am. I am. Are you? Question mark. Another night on the prowl. Wow, it's for the kill. Did your first run of the Scent of Dragons go twelve with the Druids? Uh, yep, yep, yep. That's good fun. That's a nice turn. I can play this into this, this. It's on YouTube if you want to check it. It's how much food. Yesterday we had a 12 0. That'll be up as well eventually. My first day was pretty insane. My first three runs went 12. That's because I just picked the meta classes. I was like, oh, so I. I I pick the dragony stuff, okay, and and then I do the dragony things, okay. Man, that's a nasty swipe. Have you tried priest yet? No, 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 no real reason to try priest, right? Imagine playing priest to kick W, man. Kick W. I decided to go into the swipe anyway because I feel like the alternatives just aren't very good. I like how he was thinking about the swipe. So fuck. I guess I have to take the soul here. And then he has a 2 2 versus my 2 2s. Could also put the uh, snowball down. But that's just less, right? This guy is in battlegrounds. Why not break the divine shields? I cannot attack the minion with stealth. I cannot attack the minion with stealth. Alfurion could say, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> Nothing like a big old whoop. Man, we are getting absolutely dumpstered here. Absolutely dumpstered. Depth charge was just weird. Should probably just never have that in your deck, right? Cannot defend versus Pepega. Feels better, man. Malfurion versus Tyrande. Malfurion. 
My beloved Tyrande. My beloved Tyrande. Feast of Winter Vale. I think it's tempting to want more, but this is really fucking good, so probably take it. Gets the buff. So we can harvest golem hero power, sec the four. Free kill, go face, or we can former champ, trade, trade, trade. Nova means we're left with a 5 3. Harvest Golem, hero power. Smack, smack, smack. Gives him a really nice shadow madness. It's probably okay to just do this. also a six mana nova it's not that great in his face like a man. And you get a silence, and you get a silence, and everyone gets a silence. I'm being a little lazy here, I'm gonna be honest. Not exactly thinking through the moves that well. Guess it's fine. What could Purify have been against? Anything. That's the system we live in. Some dudes. Shall not pass. Man, I need to start working out in the mornings again. I'm so asleep right now. <laughs> Crazy, man.
Just like, uh, <laughs> it is finished. You win. Coffee and a little stretch, yeah. Happy feast of winter bear. This guy walks onto your board. What do you do? Right. The sun has touched time. Payback time. He gets to rush into the one three now. Kind of sucks. He has to waste his weapon charge now, unless it's like a grim necro or whatever. Okay. He's popping, chat. He's popping. No. That's amazing. Size summoner. Okay. Not exactly the grawl of your dreams. If we can dodge a fan of knives, we can set up some cheesy ass lethal with just a bunch of dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can just fill the board and go full face and not care. And then if he has an answer, he has an answer. Or we could throw our roots on that and trade the three, two, make a five, two into some one ones and hope something happens. I don't really like that as much. I think I'd rather just give myself a chance to win next turn. So there's a couple cards that do very well for him here. But I feel like with the other play, I don't really give myself a chance to actually win the game. Sure. Alrighty, at Malkazar. Okay. I totally missed that. So he gets the Leroy without downsides, but the Leroy has to trade into a 5-2, so... It's like five mana to deal with my three drop. 
that's still a pretty big downside. <laughs> So how much do we have left? 12, 19, 20. The classic one off. He could Tyrant this next turn. I feel like we sort of just want to go all in. You could also Raider Hero Power here. And then face in a 1-1 one, one in here, go face. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 19, 20. We should probably just do that, to be honest. It's only if he has a taunt he couldn't have played this turn, right? So if he top decks a taunt or he had an 8 mana taunt, but it's like a Lich King or whatever. I think I just guaranteed want to deal the damage. Because if you go Raider, there's a good chance you're going to be one off, right? Or not one off, but you're gonna be more than one off. You do play for the board more. He had a taunt that wow, he had a taunt and didn't play it. He got so yeah, he got so sidetracked on the Leroy. I was like He was like, I can Leroy and he doesn't even have minions. So that was pretty pretty aggressive by us. But I, I think the more conservative line actually has a lower win rate, so The good old reverse kick W. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Mariator, thank you. We had a really good stream yesterday. It was super nice. Santa came by, extended the stream, went 12 0. Fuse came in. Good man. Is that like the communist meme, Waladil? Seize all the means of production. And then something, something bourgeoisie. And then the next step is like, you know, millions starve to death. Millions starve to death? <laughs> it's like, hmm. This was not included. Uh... If you haven't seen that version, it's pretty good, man. <laughs> it's like, first we shall seize all the means of production. It's like, then we will deal with the bourgeoisie. Then everyone will starve to death. Everyone will starve to death. <laughs> all right, all right, what do I do here? If we claw trade the 1-1, one, one, make a 5-2, that's the best we can do aggro-wise. It keeps this thing healthy. Is that even good? I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. I want to be aggro. It helps you. Um, helps you save your save your health uh, versus blast wave and shit. Well, that went horribly wrong. Shanu, thank you for the 23, man. Welcome back. Oh, man, I am not feeling it right now, chat. Oh, this is not good. Ooh. Arena dance game? Yeah, we'll see. 
I wasn't feeling it yesterday morning either, though, so... Turned out to be a really good stream anyway. I feel like this is more like a throwaway deck. Did that yesterday morning as well. I'll we'll just get going, not care too much. Because if I care too much, I'm going to get super tilted at me making misplays. Right now, we'll just play cards. Flame Strike? Haven't heard of it. What is it? What is it good for? You don't know what these cards are? Me either, so that's fine. Oh, wow, yeah. Damn, create. Oh, dude. Created by Arcade Explorer. Created by. Oh, that's. That's nasty. <laughs> Soon we won't have to click the cards anymore. One uh, savage roar, please. Uh, that would be very nice, so thank you very much. I'm guessing he's got one of them big old fireballs. One of those big bowls of fire. Do I actually just want to play defense here? And go all in on this. I mean, if he's got a fireball, he can fireball this, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Imagine taking the YOLO here. So about that face hit last turn. We might need to have a talk. I'll chat about that, Mr. Mage. He's doing the math, right? He's doing the math again. He's doing the math again. So the math is brutal. Heard a ride. He's like, I'll just hit the Valdir. I didn't hit the Valdir. Okay, quit. I love that meme, dude. I fucking love Kekwait. <laughs> what an amazing emote. Anyone who doesn't have better Twitch TV, you're, you're missing out. Oh, Franker faces. Can you post a link to the communist meme? Arr, I, I, it's something I saw at some point. It's not something I'm like, oh yeah, I, I keep a folder of memes. But I'm sure you could find it. Anyone here with supreme Google skills won't uh, have a crack at it. Actually, Power of the Wild Hero Power is pretty bad now. I didn't want to trade because then he would just Hero Power here, but Power of the Wild is pretty bad now. Oh, Swipe's fine. The Swipe is fine. It's funny how Shrubadir is like Shark Fin Fan, but you don't have the Hero Power for it. So I'm thinking about killing the 2 4 to protect the Shark Fin Fan. But is it better to just make him hero power? Because you can go shark fin fan hero power trade trade. I wait for no one. Hmm. 
but then you open up him just playing a five drop trade here, right? So I think he can have it. Nature will rise against you. Oh right, it's um Despicable Me, right? That's the movie. Yeah, that's the one. A savage roar. Nice. So we got a roar out of him by not trading here. It's kind of good. Rise against you. Roar like a Happy feast of winter like a bee. Yes, yes. <laughs> not even sure if I want to kill this. Yes, yes. Totally fine. More swipe, this guy. Ah, excellent. As the good player I am, I top deck the card I need into the card that wins me the game. Very nice. Your feeble magic amuses me. All right, so Savage Striker Claw is six, right? I guess we could go for Scavenger and just a hero power and then save the Striker memes. I guess that's okay-ish. Oh, I can't play Shrubadir. Hmm. What do I want to do then? Do I still want to claw striker to not take seven? Or do I just want to? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I guess it saves me some health. He's on defense. I've played this deck. It's a fun deck. No. Entering stream, Shady has his Sarah in hand, all as it should be. Corruptor? No. Yeah, that's not a great Corruptor. That felt very Slay the Spire-ish when the cards shuffled into my deck like that. Anyone else got that vibe? Nature will rise against you. Happy feast of winter vale. Nature will rise against you. He had a UI. Lost feed. Lost feed. Ooh. So we're gonna death speaker. We're probably gonna. He ooh no we're gonna ooh, ooh, ooh baby. Death speaker power about five. Ugh. 
rise against you. Are we gonna keep a 513 and just Nature kill off our 3-3? You. We should have the long run with the dream portal. Yeah, it should still be better to keep extra health on this guy, right? So make one three seven or a two two and a three three. I guess we'll just do this. Could honestly go face against this. But... Well, then I am the option. My hand is too full. A natural mistake. <laughs> well, he's gonna taunt it. No. A natural mistake. Nature will rise against you. A natural mistake. Nature will rise against a natural mistake. Nature will rise against you. Sleep now. A natural mistake. Nature will rise against you. That's great. Alright. We made a new friend? No, we didn't. <laughs> no one saw anything. I don't know how this works, but we'll make it work. Him, you monster. I hope he just. Oh, he just types nature will rise against you. Yeah. Oh shit, I should have said a natural mistake. <laughs> I know, I really messed up there. Educated kick. Oh my god, what is that abomination? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's amazing. <laughs> oh god. I, I hate it and love it at the same time. I don't know if it's possible. I'm gonna have to remove him if he doesn't say anything is.
Early game versus hunter traps always interesting, right? Time for shady kick. Oh my lord. So I want to proc the grandma with the 1 8, but freezing trap. Also, if it's cobra trap, it's really awkward. I think I'll just chill another turn. Ooh, get wrecked. We don't actually want to put this on too. Oh. Oh, okay. Sniper. Mm-hmm. I think we still get the big boy rolling here. Now we just have a wall and we're gonna inspire and then we can prop the bear trap soon. Do I keep Emerald Explorer because it's just that good? Hmm. I think in this kind of a curve I don't, but I do want to see it. Feast of winter, this is pretty, pretty amazing. Happy feast of winter, vale. It's tempting to save the roots for when you have this down, but think of it this way. If you play the roots and he plays a 3-2, you can actually kill the 3-2 and then your crypt load won't get wrecked. Right. The um <clears throat> the four three makes things a bit more awkward. Oh, it's probably okay. Okay. Oh, he's going that way. Sure. I was like, wait, what's he doing? Sure. Synergy. So, 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 so synergy. Sin, 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 synergy. Why won't you activate my trap card, Yugi boy? Yugi boy. I guess you buff this guy and just trade smack. I was gonna buff this, but that makes no sense anymore. Binary. So we've got a pit fighter into an emerald explorer into a raider hero power. That looks pretty solid. Oh, righty, Alan.
Oh, it is camel? Oh, the hero power is really good here. Uh, so I can have a 2-6 and a 5-6 on an empty board. Or I can give him a 5-3 to kill my explorer with. I guess the one move does make him half 3 damage. Then I'll keep a 5-3 if you say Hellfire is replace Hellfire on a stick. This can trade into the Hellfire on a stick, right? It's probably okay, actually, to just go face. Yeah, I don't know. Is this Firestone? It could be, right? I could probably just turn that off. Oh, Corpse Razor. Not bad. If he goes Tyrant, we push four. They play Emerald Explorer. This is a real Monk at Hmm turn, man. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Very Monk at Hmm kind of turn, you know? It's like, it's giving you a notification after every single game that you can watch the replay. I'm like, holy shit, man. Relax. Relax. <laughs> what else was in the pack? An Explorer. And at the time, and I still think it's better to have the Explorer instead. And Biggin's great, though. Had a really clean run with it yesterday. But the deck is pretty low on value and pretty high on tempo. So I think I'd rather add the super high value card. But Shady, the recording is available. I know, right? It's just shoving it down your throat. You will watch this recording and you will like it, goddammit. I start with a 3-5 because the 1-6 will probably just get uh, smacked by whatever he plays. So then, yeah, you gain one extra health by buffing it with the turtle. But you probably lose three health from the thing that can attack into it. So it's still negative two health compared to playing the turtle. Having the turtle kill whatever he plays and then play the Crypt Lord. Hey, that does put a kink in my plans. What the hell? Guess I'm gonna have to take the power already. Actually put a kink in my plans. What the hell? It's been 
and then he played the Holy Nova for three. Oh my god. He's not even speaking English. What did it say? Just some Russian lethal? I don't think so, right? 15, 17, 18. 19, 15, 17, 18, 19, 18, 19, 18, 19, 18, okay. Then why did you say lethal? Hmm? Explain yourself. I always overkill it, right? Join or die. For the wild. Mount Urien versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I must protect the wild. Now, now, sit down. Shady, show us the replay. If only there was a way for me to show you the replay, chat. <clears throat> just we just simply do not have the technology right now to show you the replay. Get him, Shirby. Revenge of the Wild. That's pretty good. I have to say, dash, dash, pretty good, dash, pretty good. It's almost like a two mana kindly grandmother. So he smacks us for six now, but we um, we get a good trade, so that's fine. I guess we should play the striker to clear. I would snap a fire plume phoenix here, so I guess we should do that. Did you see the notes for today's patch? Yeah, nothing big for Arena, right? Just the Corruptor. But Battlegrounds is insane, yeah. No Amalgam anymore. That'll be cool to to learn that meta, so... We'll maybe bounce back and forth between Arena and Battlegrounds. I'll see him. I'm having a good time in Arena right now. But if they don't do anything about class balance, it, it could change rather fast. I don't think we want to go balls to the wall into uh, Scorcher here. Because you could go like Shark Fin Fan, Hero Power, Living Roots. Mm. Buffing the Divine Shield's kind of okay. Buffing this guy to get around the one damage killing it is also fine ish. I guess I'll buff the Harvest Golem. 
push the one extra damage this turn and prevent it from getting Scorchered. It's probably better than keeping a 4-2 to keep a 3-1 that respawns as a 2-1. No Amalgam probably bumps Curator up to no end, right? I wonder if... Did they remove Curator as well or is it still in? Because that's what I've always said, right? I said that they couldn't really remove Amalgam because then Curator's insane, so they'd have to do something about that first. So you could go Sharkfin Fan Hero Power Roots here. That puts four bodies on the board. You push six this turn, he goes to 21. Four bodies, 10, uh, 12, 13, 19. Not quite. Probably just put this on the board then. You're in trouble now. Join or die. The gyro. Get a little punished there for not trading in the shield. Oh. Yes, why would we kill the 5 and 6, right? 7 and 1, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how good Curator is right now, being the only thing that can go, oh, I'm going to Divine Shield my Amalgam, I'm going to Merle buff my Amalgam, heck, but I'll give it a little poison, what the hell. Let me just nuke it out of orbit. Golio, thank you for the 29, man. Welcome back. Shady. Easy. Easy streak. Ooh, this is bad. This is Trey bad. Trey bad. Don't think it makes sense. I feel like he might just hero power and then I just give him a ping. Oh, Lord, we are dead. Rip us chat it's been good knowing you guys you should kill it. <laughs> I think he's looking at the swipe. Oh, he's looking at the swipe. Oh, dear God, that's good for us. All right, that gives us some breathing room. Very nice. And then he traded everything into my 2-6 kick W. But I will give it to him. Spell power druid is scary. Oh, it keeps trading. It's so good. Keep trading for me, man. Keep trading. Should probably preemptively freeze that uh, pit fighter, to be honest. You never know, right? Pit fighters and stuff, they, they do things. Really bad things. Ooh. Oh, okay, well. 
went okay so far. We do, I mean, we do have a punish for him not trading, but like it's probably not even better than to just jam explorer. Kind of have to kill that spell power. Not killing Spellfire seems pretty bad. Oh, that's a good one. Alright. Get the Death Speaker punished now. Finally punished. Uh. Oh, this just plays into Tyrant so hard. Do we just play these guys? Sure, why not? Not a tyrant, not a flame strike. Pogu. This game suddenly turned around. No tyrant, I know, right? He didn't jam a tyrant. No tyrant, no flame strike. I'm in shock. Uncas. Oh my god! <laughs> if he's got the pyro. We're dead. Feels like he's got the pyro, right? Well. It's literally nothing we can do about it. I'm guessing that's a GG with a big ball of fire to the face. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's always, um, it's always easy to judge when we see our hands, right? And say, oh, how, how could you trade there? That's terrible. But. You know, if I swipe him or Starfall on the turn after, he's like, well, I lost because I didn't trade, GG. Would you even play around Starfall and swipe in the meta? I see plenty of swipes. Playing around swipe is fair. Haven't seen a Starfall yet. But you see plenty of swipes. So it's super fair to play around. Can play the taunts, but we have some synergy in the deck for it. Even the roar is synergy later. Boop.
you. All of this is pretty bad. I think you just let him have his things and potentially coin a 4-8 Dragoon. Nah, I don't want to roar for that. You want to have the threat of roar to kill him. Using roar for board control is more like a last resort the kind of thing. Even if it's the best play on the board, it can just be 12 face later on. 3 mana deal 12 face, that's pretty stupid. You need five minions, which is not unthinkable. Happens quite often, so. Compare that to Pyroblast, which is a more than decent card. I'm almost out of time. Looks like he's got some options himself. Goes for the door. All right, so the four eight is definitely good. Probably just grabbing it. We must stop this corruption. Tyrant's is guaranteed good. Whereas I could not, I could never draw the living roots. Right. That's a shame, though. I do, I do want the Alex, but. Iron's just guaranteed good. That gang boss has done some work, man. So we can clear his boards with two strikers. Is that even good? Probably not. We'll just trade let we'll let him trade into the one one token from the Shrubadir and save his striker, I think. I think one striker happens for sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll save the ping. The difference is I have a 2 2 instead of a 2 3 on the board. That's whatever. Oh, he's got the drag? <laughs> so I need the way to deal one damage to the Ooh, hello there. Hmm. This doesn't fit very nicely. But I think we still just delete it. Now, Kodo Rider or Tyrant, depending on what he does. If he Tyrants, we'll Kodo Rider. If not, we'll probably Tyrant. Yep, that's pretty disgusting. Crazy how much people play into that right now. Sometimes you don't have a choice, but I think it's more that they don't want to play around it because it's usually pretty yucky to play around it. This is likely going to die, right? The, the thing is it makes him invest resources here. The other one is to soul, but you're not really using soul on many things. So. That's funny. Who was the first Hearthstone streamer you started watching regularly? Hmm. 
Hafu definitely comes to mind, but I'm not sure if she was the first. Osmo, Hafu, Super JJ. Those are all streamers I watched before I started streaming, so that's more than five years ago. Before I started streaming Hearthstone. I'm clarifying. Um, I'd streamed Leak before that. Yeah, so those definitely come to mind. Hafu, Asmo, Super JJ. I never really got into watching Crip, but I think he just streams at a weird time for me. Mm. Oh, I'd say those three. JJ's streaming um, Teamfight Tactics. Now, he, uh, he had a lot of uh, success with uh, Auto Chess, so it's cool. Asma had a pretty small stream back then, and he used to do drunk streams all the time, where he'd like fall off his chair and all that. I think at some point he realized, I, I have to stop doing this. Oh, that's really cool to hear, ordinary Twitch name. Thank you for sharing that, man. Yeah, Peter's been great, man. It's It was just really cool receiving an email from him. Basically going, hey, I have a Wikipedia, by the way. You want to play? <laughs> That's pretty good. You ever watch Ratsma? Ratsma was also someone I only discovered after I started streaming Hearthstone. But Rats and I, we definitely go way back. We played uh, co-ops, talked regularly and all that. Against Paladin, it's pretty good to get that fast start. You miss him? Yeah, he was done with streaming, man. He was done with streaming. I think he may have pushed a bit too much when he was uh, trying to grow his channel. Felt like he was really fed up with arenas at the end. Or maybe just streaming, I, I don't know. Why not trade the 2-4? You're totally right. Trading the 2-4 was better. For some reason, I thought that everything would die. But that was a much better trade. Now, this is the trade I don't really want to make because of Consecration. Sorry, this is the trade I don't really want to make, but I might make because of cons Consecration. This is coming down. This is going face. So if I trade these... I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 16, if I, 18, I think we have a good enough game plan to play it slightly slower and kill it. Just because he gets a trade into this and Consecration is super bad. We can still just play Explorer. And then the turn after, try to kill him. But yeah, I shouldn't. I should have traded with the Death Speaker. It's just a, a misplay of just not paying enough attention. What are you looking at? 16, 18, 19. Still bad versus Consec, but I think we kill him through it, right? Consec trades. 
we've pushed six, we keep three, two bodies only, but three here. So six and six, 12, 14, 16, 18, maybe not. I mean, there's not much we can do about it, but. We must stop this Great. I think I grabbed the Fey Wing in case I want to just develop next turn. I can do that and Harvest Golem. So he consecrates here. We only keep two bodies. That's pretty bad. Don't care about the Divine Shields. Don't care about the True Silver. GG. Man, I'm just killing people with the roar every time. So. Well played. I see your weakness. You're digging a hole for the other players. Damn. Is Shady Diggy still a thing? Well, it's copyrighted now, unfortunately, but you guys can still use Shady Diggy in the chat, of course. Number 11. It's not a bad death speaker, but I don't like having a 2-4 and a 2-3 into 3 mana. And we'll get a death speaker at some point, so it's fine for me. By the holy light. Spectacular. Spectacular. Well <laughs> Just trying to get into his opponent's head, I think. He's like trying to spam well played to make you lower your guard or something. I'll dead speak with this mainly because Consecration clears if I shark fin fan. What's the point of spamming emotes? Well, it's, it's the same. Let's say you're playing an RTS, right? If you have any experience with that. A lot of the time your opponents, well, not a lot of the time, but it, it's definitely a tactic that's employed is when the opponent is losing, they will type GG. And usually that means good game, I will concede now, you win. It's a very like sportsman-like thing to do. However, someone that really, really, really wants to win and doesn't care about anything else, they'll type GG, you'll lower your guard, and then they'll go hard and they'll try to kill you. Right? Because especially in an RTS, it's super tense the entire time. So that when they type GG, your brain has this automatic like, it's over. Okay, I can chill now. And then in that moment, those five to ten seconds where you're like, wait, it's not over, it might throw you off enough. So someone who's spamming GG the entire time, right, to a lesser extent could be like, oh, I guess he doesn't have anything. And then he's like, ha, Tyrion, bitch. <laughs> it's like, yeah. All right, so... Mm, Sila Champions on this is pretty bad. But he can't kill a pit fighter, right? You're in trouble now. Could actually chunk it for three. It's a nice little hedge, I think. Removing three health makes it so that if he does go seal, I can just put the uh, put the turtle back in. If he kills the turtle, we'll do something else. 
Sure, that's fine. Still okay. He gets too much out of um, Scorcher if I do this and this. And this is already a Scorcher because he will trade Scorcher. So then next turn I get to play into it, into the Kodo, into the Roar. At least this way you keep this guy around if it's Scorcher. But if you go Sharkfin Fan, buff the Sharkfin Fan hero power, you put so much into Scorch. Well, that's really underwhelming, it's good for us. How much do I have? 19. I'm getting closer. You can coin Tyrant next round. With the coin Tyrant, we definitely want to just spread, spread, spread. We'll ignore the Tyrant and go face, so we'll just buff this for a top deck consec. So we have these two guys to tank the Tyrant shots. It's a coin far left. It's pretty good for us. How many wins did you get with the Andre yesterday? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, another 12? Shady, you're on fire. Uh, Druid just feels really, really solid. Like, both kind of Druid. I went 11 with a more aggressive Druid as well. Oh. YBM? Wait, are you asking that question or not? I just want to make sure. Or is it just like a YBM forehead? You'd be triggered if someone did that to you. Wait, how many of you were watching the game? Was there was there anyone like raise your hand if you were watching the game chat? I wanna see how many of you were actually watching. <laughs> 